So I bought another huge collection from a subscriber. I spent over $5,000 on all this stuff. Uh, off the top of my head, I think we have 40 or 50 consoles, uh, 500 games, and a ton of just random accessories. So in this video, I'll take you through it all and kind of show you what we got. Uh, we have anything from NES, Super Nintendo, GameCube, uh, PS2, PS3, pretty much anything Xbox 360 or older we have here. Tons of stuff, tons of good stuff. And let's go ahead and start with some of these consoles we have and just some of the boxes. We have a lot of uh, boxed up stuff. This right here, we'll start here. We have, it says an Xbox One headset, but it's actually uh, just Xbox One headset with some random controllers in here. You know, a Turbo Touch 360, which I've never actually used before, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, just some other various controllers, Microsoft Sidewinder and NES controller. Here is our Turbo Touch 360 controller. Kind of cool to see. Uh, I don't know if it's, it says control directional movement, just a touch of a finger. Never seen that before, but sounds pretty cool. Uh, we have a Sega Saturn Avenger, which looks like some sort of light gun. Never seen it, but looks pretty cool. And next up, falling on the floor, we have a Nintendo 3DS in the box, along with some other random stuff. So we got a Nintendo Switch car charger. Uh, we have Super Mario 3D candy gummy worms. Not sure why, but uh, yeah, got a charger as well. And we have this big pack of uh, discs. And by the way, I already went through some of this stuff which is why I know what I'm looking at. Um, my guess is that this is, these are Sega Dreamcast games that were copied because if you guys are familiar with Sega Dreamcast, it was pretty easy to copy games and not play the original. Um, and then we have a Xbox 360. If I remember correctly, there's a 360 and a bunch of other random stuff in here, like a Kinect and controllers, that sort of thing. Put that to the side. We also have a Hori Xbox 360 wheel. And by the way, um, I'll be throwing all this stuff up on my site, either my site or whatnot at some point in time uh, once I get to it. We also have a Super NES in the box, which is kind of cool. It comes with this Legend of Zelda special offer, a Link to the Past game pack inside. I'm not sure if that's actually in here or not, but it's kind of cool to see special edition boxes like that. We'll kind of open it up and see what's in here. All right, so in the box, it's just a Super Nintendo, pretty dirty Super Nintendo, but it honestly doesn't look too yellowed, so it shouldn't be too difficult to clean up. It's a little bit yellowed in the front. Uh, but we do have some manuals and inserts still in there, which is kind of cool to see. Thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. Remember when we used to sit at the dining room table with a laptop to do work? Man, those were the days. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Man, I always hated slouching at the table to do work, and that's why I now have a FlexiSpot standing desk. So right here is the FlexiSpot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7, and it's really been a game changer for my workflow. It has a desk keypad that allows you to easily move the desk up and down, which means you can sit or stand depending on how you're feeling. It even has a memory preset function like a lot of cars do for their seats. Honestly, my favorite part about having the desk in standing mode is that I can walk away, grab something, and come back without ever having to bend up and down. I used to run and play basketball a lot when I was younger so my knees enjoy not having to sit down and get up all the time. And here's a little tidbit, I actually have a second standing desk from FlexiSpot that I bought a couple years ago. Did you guys know that 99% of my videos are filmed on this FlexiSpot desk? It's really nice because I can move it up and down depending on what I'm filming and it's really stood the test of time. If you guys have seen many of my videos, you'll know I put a lot of stuff on this desk and I've never had an issue. So what are you waiting for? If you're tired of sitting all the time, I definitely recommend picking up a standing desk from FlexiSpot and if you use my link down below, you can get $30 off your first purchase. And then down here, I believe we have some games. Actually, that's not games. We have a kind of stack of random accessories. We got a Wii sensor bar, third party one. We have a Wii Motion Plus still in the box, which is cool to see. Bunch of NES controllers, light gun bar, or light, light gun, whatever you want to call it, uh, N64 controllers. I noticed this earlier. We have a N64 Game Boy um, pack that you stick in the, like, the controller slot on the back. I've seen this before, never used it, not sure how it works, but I'm excited to try that out. We have a random NES console in here, um, NES Advantage in here. Looks like another Super Nintendo down at the bottom. There's kind of just a, a various amount of uh, random consoles in this bundle. And then down in this box, we have four NES consoles and a random barnyard artwork. Uh, so there's a lot of NES consoles, some are in good condition, some need to be cleaned up. We have this PS4 box, uh, for whatever reason, use a PS4 box to kind of stick some other stuff in. So we have a PlayLink system link cable for the PS1. We have some Amiibo in here. So we have like a Super Mario Bros 30th anniversary Amiibo. I think we also have a Link Amiibo, yeah. And then just various controllers down there. There might be a system down there as well, but I'm not gonna pull all that out right now. Um, Another box of random accessories, we have some what appear to be PS3 controllers. So we have like a white PS3 controller, uh, some black ones. We also have a PlayStation Move uh, a charging station with some Move controllers. And we also have, I think there were three PS1s down here, one of the slim one, and then two of the fat ones. And then there's actually a PS1 multi-tap, which 
It's pretty cool. Never seen one in person. I did have a PS2 multi tab back in the day. And if we move over here, we have some more consoles. Uh, down in this box, we have just a you know random dirty GameCube, which we'll clean up. Then we got an NES down there that appears to be in pretty good condition. Also have a top loader NES, which is cool. I've never actually seen one of these in person, so excited to check that out. I didn't show you yet, but we got a Wii balance board. Pretty standard classic. I haven't played Wii Fit or anything in forever, but it was fun back in the day. And then we'll round this out with a few more consoles, then we'll get into all the games we have, because we have some really good games in this deck. So we have a uh, Nintendo Switch wireless controller. I'm actually not sure if this is what's actually in here or not. I'm just gonna assume that it is. Um, we also have a classic controller with glove for the Wii, still in the box. A lot of this stuff is stuff that people don't usually keep the box around for, so I'm kinda, kinda cool to see this stuff. A Wii Zapper, still in the box. And then back here we also have uh, your Capella, Cabela's Big Hunt, uh, Big Game Hunter hunting party. And if we step over here, we actually have the gun for this thing, which earlier I didn't realize what this was for um, until I found the Cabela's game. But it's a, a big gun, somehow it works with a Wii, or a 360, excuse me, 360 Connect, I believe. Um, pretty cool. And then I guess while we're over here, I'll show you some of the other big, big items we got here. We have a Tony Hawk ride, which if you're not familiar, this is an actual skateboard that you use to uh, play the game. Pretty sweet. A few random items. We have a Star Fox N64 box that is complete, except it doesn't have the game. So I'm gonna have to buy a game to put this because this is a really nice bundle right here. Also a couple other random things. We have a Game Pro Gear, which appears to be some sort of CD cleaning kit for the PS1 and the Dreamcast. And then also some sort of action replay um, cheat code system for the PS2. A few other big thing things. We got a DJ Hero for the 360. We have this giant guitar still in the box for the 360. We also have three other guitars. Um, this appears to be, I think this is uh, Guitar Hero, another Guitar Hero, and then one rock band over here. So we've seen enough of the consoles and accessories for now. I'm going to show you some of the games we have. So in this first box here, we have a huge stack. Like I said, we have like 500 or 600 games here, tons of stuff. We have some Sega Saturn games, NBA Live. Uh, there's actually a PlayStation game, which I've never seen a PlayStation game in this kind of box, which is cool to see. I know the Sega CD, Sega CD, and Sega Saturn use these boxes, but I've never seen a PS1 game in that box. Um, just some other various Sega Saturn games, and then the classic Daytona USA uh, with Virtua Fighter. And of course, just some other random Sega Saturn games. We also have a few other various random games here, PS3 games. Uh, we got some 3DS games, Zelda, got a little bag of 3DS games, Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, Mario Land, all that good stuff. A couple of random Xbox games. We have another box that's like full of Xbox games. Somehow these made it into here. Another PS3 game. A couple more Xbox games, three more Xbox games, PS3 game. And then down here, we kind of got some a big collection of some cool games. Actually, one thing I want to show you real quick. We have this PS3 game, which appears to be a demo disc that's still sealed. Kind of cool to see. And then down here we have some Xbox games, some Wii U games like Nintendo Land, Smash Bros, Legend of Zelda. Uh, so a lot of good games down here. And then we got a whole bunch of Wii games. Some of these are the classic like Wii Play, Wii Sports Resort, um, Guitar Hero 5, um, nothing crazy in here, Silent Hill, uh, Wii Sports. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew there was a Wii Sports. I wonder if that looks like a some sort of custom printed thing. There it is, yeah. So here's the original um, little pamphlet for Wii Sports and then I guess he custom printed like a uh, Wii Sports cover which is kind of cool. And by the way as you can tell a lot of these games are complete in box. Uh, pretty much all the games in the collection are complete in box at least a huge chunk of them probably like 90%. Over here we have some GameCube games some good stuff. Uh, we've got you know Tony Hawk, Wind Waker, uh, Soul Calibur 2, um, Rebel Strike, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Resident Evil Zero, Smash Bros Melee. Just take a look at one of these games and as you guys probably know GameCube games goes for a ton right now, and that's a that's a nice looking copy. I mean, the disc looks perfect, complete in box. Pretty sure most of the other ones are like that as well. And while we're on the way to some more games, I have this little collection of uh, some random accessories and a Sega console. Nothing crazy in there, but we got another box of games here. And this one's kind of cool because we have some of the Xbox game discs from the uh, Xbox magazine when they used to send these out. So there's like a whole stack of them. And he's actually got them in these little cases. I'm not sure if it came with these cases originally or not. Maybe it did. I never got the Xbox magazine back in the day, so I'm not really sure what it came with. But that's uh, kind of just a, a cool item to see. And there's a whole lot of them. There's like probably 10 here, and I think there's another 10 or 15 somewhere else. And then down here, we just have, uh, you know, various Xbox games. I'll just, I mean, as you can see, they all appear to be complete in the box. I'm not sure if they all have manuals, but 
we'll just pull a couple out. You know, you got Fight Night 2, Unreal 2. They're all in really good condition, complete. So it's a pretty nice collection. Then back here, we got some more 360 games, or I don't know if we've seen any yet. So this is all of our 360 games. Um, you know, Beowulf, Turok, Alan Wake. Everything appears to be in really good condition. Got a couple Connect games. I mean, you got a purple case that's a Connect game. We actually have some PSP games here as well, which are always cool to see. Trigun, which appears to be a video. Sure, some other various PSP games. There's actually a few um, Sega Dreamcast games down here as well. As you can see, these are all in pretty good condition too. Web browser, nice. Sonic Adventure, that's a good one. I don't know about you guys, but I remember going to some random store ages ago and playing Sonic Adventure in like a little kiosk at like a retail store, probably back in like 2001 or something. That was kind of fun, but uh, here's some of those Xbox games from the magazine. And then this next box here has some good ones. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you the best one. We have Earthbound in a box. I'm going to pull it out. That thing is in pristine condition. Just look at that label. I mean, like, it's almost, I want to call it perfect, but it's about as good as you get for a game that's, you know, 30 years old or so. Even the back looks good. Um, and of course, we have a few more games here in little cases. I'm not honestly familiar with all these games. You know, I'm not a, I wasn't even alive when the Super Nintendo came out. We got, this is called Wanderers from Wise 3. Probably embarrassing that I probably mispronounced that. Uh, we got Eye of the Beholder, Lord of the Rings, uh, you know, just some other various games back here. Final Fight, Shaq Fu, which I'm excited to try out. I always heard about this game, but I've never actually played it. And a few others here. We got Sega Genesis, Mortal Kombat. Um, another game in the this little case, which is, let's see. This is called Secret of Evermore. And this is a cool item. We have Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi for Super Nintendo. And the amazing thing is this apparently sold for $3 at some point. So um, that was obviously a steal because this, I don't know how much this goes for now, but it's a whole lot more than $3. We also got a Legend of Zelda game, which again, great condition. And then a couple more. Um, we got Illusion of, of Gaia. I'm not sure if you can really see that through the case. One more in a case, Chrono Trigger, which is also a, a pretty high value game. And that one looks really good as well. Not quite as good as the Earthbound, but it's still pretty dang good. And then down here, as you can see, some more Super Nintendo games. And we also have, this is kind of cool, we have some Nintendo 64 games, and he kind of put them in these custom cases. As you can see, we've got like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater in this custom clear case with a custom, like some custom artwork. Uh, so that's pretty cool to see. He's got that for pretty much all of his Nintendo 64 games, I think. Um, but we've got some good stuff down here, like Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, um, uh, as you saw, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Majora's Mask, uh, Castlevania. And we'll, bree we'll breeze through a couple more of these boxes. We got just a bunch of PS2 games. Silent Hill 2 is a pretty good one. Metal Gear Solid. Um, and I mean, as you can see, most of these are really good condition, complete in the box. Random Dreamcast game in a case like this. I don't think that's from Factory because I've never seen a Dreamcast game in a case like that. Some more PS2, Xbox 360, a bunch more Xbox 360 in here. Actually, Burnout Paradise, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, just some other various PS2 games. Soul Gal, what is it? Soul, I thought that was Soul Calibur. <laughs> Soul Reaver 2. Um, and then a Sega CD game as well. Next box up is just some various random stuff. Appears to be like a PSP case, some Dreamcast controllers, a PS Vita box with a PS Vita, which is good to see. And then just some other uh, various stuff in Dreamcast as well. So we're almost done here, but we still got a few more good boxes. We've got a Game Boy complete in the box with the Game Boy Player, which is cool to see. I always love these special edition boxes. Like I mentioned earlier, we had that Super Nintendo was in a special edition box. Um, Game Boy Player is a cool thing to see, which actually, as I scroll over here, we have a Game Boy Player startup disc, which is essential for the Game Boy Player. Also down here in our boxes, we have a Wii U console. We also have a PS3 console, a slim version, uh, 120 gigabytes. I think there's some other stuff in here because this thing is pretty heavy. And we also have an Xbox 360 Elite. And over here we have a Xbox 360, uh, it comes with Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda, which you already saw that in another box. Well, this box just includes a 360, some various controllers, you know, the chat pad, which is pretty neat, um, and just some other various stuff. And another classic, we got a Wii. Uh, we have some other random, actually we have a PS2, which I've never seen this specific PS2 box, so that's cool to see. We also have some other various boxes that are empty. Wii Sports Resort. Um, you know, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And then this one right here is pretty cool. It's a 12 month messenger gold pack. Comes with the 12 month gold subscription, chat pad, headset, and Project Gotham Racing 4. Probably came out in like 05 when 360 came out. Yes, yeah, even got the, the Blades dashboard on the top. And then just a few more boxes. We've got this one right here with 
a Sega Genesis and Sega CD attachment, which is cool. Never actually seen one of those in person. Um, and down below it, we have a, an original Xbox, a bunch of various AV cables and power cables. And I believe this is a PSP. Yeah, it's a PSP, which is in good condition with a grip. And then just, like I said, some other various controllers, uh, AV cables, and that sort of thing. So we're almost done here, but we still got a couple more good boxes left. We have this box, which has a Super NES controller in it. Um, actually, there's not one in here, but it's just the box, which is cool to see. <laughs> the, that Mario and Yoshi looks pretty dang cheesy. Uh, we have this PS1 case, which I would assume has some discs in it. Yeah, we got some PS1 discs. These might be some of the only disc-only games in the collection, which is kind of crazy to see. You know, usually when I buy big collections, there's a lot of games that are in disc-only, but this one is super nice. Uh, just some other various games. Wii Sing Pop for the Wii. Uh, just some other various PS2 games that are all appear to be in great condition. We got some PS1 games. Mega Man Legends, that's a good one. More PS1 games. Uh, more PS1 games. Tons of PS1 games. PS1, 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 PS1. Tons of PS1. And then just a few more random ones. Memory card. I don't know if you put a memory card in this case or not. Army Men. And it's always interesting to see these like double cased uh, games. Star Wars Rebel Assault 2. We've got Fear Effect. And obviously just a ton more down there. Um, another stack here. Final Fantasy 8. K1 Revenge. You know, there's tons of games in here I've played. Tons of games I haven't played. Just always cool going through these old games. And PlayStation Underground. I don't know. Is that a game? It's probably got some demos on it. I remember PlayStation Underground being a big website. I don't even know if it's still around, honestly. Um, and then, of course, just some more various PS2 games. So I'll take out a couple and show you. GTA Vice City, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. And then, last but not least, our final box. We have some more N64 games, Mission Impossible, PS Vita game. A few games in a box down here. Oh, we have some Game Gear games. Sonic Hedgehog 2. I don't think we even had a Game Gear in this collection, but maybe we did. Rad Racer 2, Rollerball, some AES games. And we have these down here. Where are, are these Atari? Coleco. I've never even seen a Coleco, even looked at one. I don't even know what it looks like. I've heard of it, but never looked at it. Never seen one online. I guess I'll go look it up now. But um, a few more games down here. Actually, there's more than a few. There's still Sega Genesis games. Um, as you can see, a ton of NES games. I'm not going to go through all, all of them, but it's always cool to see the gold ones. You got Legend of Zelda. And there's another Legend of Zelda down there somewhere, which looks kind of beat up a little bit so here's the adventure of link zelda 2 that one is not sure what happened but it's black almost it's supposed to be gold that's interesting and tons of other nes games down here i'm sure there's some good ones we're not going to go through all of them but we'll go through these last few right here just take a look rescue metroid uh digger t-rock and then this one's in a little sleeve metal gear so there you go guys pretty cool collection hope you enjoyed uh, let me know down below what your favorite part of the collection was uh and of course you got anything to trade in go to my website at jerogaming.com and fill out a trading form you know if you got a huge collection like this let me know and i'll meet you up somewhere and we can make a deal um got another collection coming up soon that i paid almost seven thousand dollars for more than seven thousand dollars for that i'll be doing an unboxing of but uh yeah thanks for watching guys and happy day